beautiful people. Thank you so much for joining me today at Same Chick Different Day. Go ahead and hit that red subscribe button and subscribe to the channel so you don't miss anything. And today is going to be a really super easy, super inexpensive project that you can do for the holidays or for your home just as decor. I hope you like this. Thank you so much for joining me. Hey, so for today's project, um, you're going to use some of these vases from the Dollar Tree. You can pick any size that you like. These are optional. These letters, these also came from the Dollar Tree. They are made by Jot and they're silver. I really like them, so I am going to use them, but you don't have to. This wrapping paper, this is an all Dollar Tree project, just so you know. Um, this wrapping paper, it says it's meant for a wedding, but I was thinking for Christmas or New Year's or just if this matches your decor. So just pick out something that matches whatever theme you're trying to do. I thought this kind of looked expensive, so that's why I chose it. And I am using these silver beads. Um, I've already started working on this project, so I'll show you what the package looks like. You can find this over in the party section or with the toys. They have these beaded necklaces and I found them in silver. Sometimes you'll see them in gold, especially around Mardi Gras or St. Patrick's Day, you can find them in gold. Uh, but this is all that I have left, so I couldn't show you them in the package. You're gonna need some Mod Podge, which I also got from the Dollar Tree and you'll need your hot glue gun. So let's get started. Okay, so this paper is good because the line helps you to be able to cut it out straight. But also, if you look at the back of it, it has lines on it. Okay, so now all you wanna do is make sure that it's lined up with the bottom so that you know that it's going on straight. And I am just gonna take my Mod Podge and my um, paintbrush and go ahead and start applying the Mod Podge. Um, I'm gonna put it onto the paper. You can put it onto the glass. I don't think it matters either way, but you do need to know that the Mod Podge does dry fairly quickly, so you don't have a lot of time to work with it. So you wanna be, <laughs> Fast enough that it doesn't dry, but slow enough that you can get it in place where you want it. And it will kind of slide onto the glass so that you can position it. So I'm just gonna take my finger and kind of smooth it out. And if you're working with smaller pieces, it's probably gonna be easier to straighten it out than with the big piece that I'm doing here because I did some smaller ones and it was a little easier for me to deal with. So you're just gonna continue on. So now that I've got it on and I have it in place, I'm gonna go ahead and put it on the glass instead of the paper. Now all I'm doing is taking some of the Mod Podge and just applying it all around the outside of the paper to seal it, to give it some type of protection. And I'm gonna do two coats. I've done one already and this is my second coat. So you're just gonna apply it around the outside just like so. I think if you use uh, less of the Mod Podge and put it on, on the glass first, it seemed to, when I did it onto the paper, it got my paper, I think, a little too moist. So, because I don't usually do things with uh, this kind of paper in the Mod Podge, so I'm learning also. So yeah, that turned out better. It didn't get my paper as wet, 
So just put a little bit on your glass first, then put your paper on so the paper doesn't get saturated. So you can see how that turned out. And I am still waiting on this to dry. As soon as it dries, I'll go and put some of the silver beading on here and show you how I did that. It's very simple for those of you who do uh, DIYs. But I'm gonna go ahead and start working on the words. So I'm going ahead and I'm starting to put the letters on and I decided to use lowercase. I'm doing the word love and I am just using this line here to guide me. You could go ahead and put it on the glass and do it up top. I'll probably do that with one of the other ones, but with this piece, I just wanted to see what it would look like and give you all some options. So these letters are really easy to work with. You're just gonna peel them off and stick them on. It's no big deal. And just like so. There you go. Now, all I'm gonna do is take some of these little plastic beads and I'm gonna go along the top. This is very easy and you can see where I've done it on this one and on this one. I tried to do um, more on one and less on the other and just vary them a little bit. But you all know how to do this. You're just gonna use your hot glue gun and you don't need that steady of a hand, but just go ahead and Put your bead of glue on there and be careful. <laughs> Y'all know me, I'm always getting burned, so be careful. But just go along and put however many rows of beads that you would like. Bye-bye, my beautiful people. Please don't forget to subscribe to my channel here at Same Chick Different Day. Go ahead and give this video a thumbs up and leave me a comment below. Let me know how you're doing. I'd love to hear about your day. I'd love to hear if you plan to do this project. So thank y'all so much. And go ahead and look through the playlist or look through my other videos. You, There's a lot of other Dollar Tree videos and you may find something else that you like also. Have a beautiful day, y'all. Bye-bye.